Check your mail because some Florida families are getting $450 per child and that's money from the state of Florida. A lot of you are talking about this. It is part of Florida's First Lady Casey DeSantis's Hope Florida, a pathway to prosperity initiative. It's aimed at helping foster and adoptive families. On your side's Kaylee Tracy has been digging for answers today, asking state officials who exactly is eligible for these one time payments. And she joins us now live from the newsroom. Kaylee, tell us what you have been able to find out today. Well, Jane and Heather, just in the last 10 minutes, I got a statement from state officials. I'm going to read it off right off my phone here. Just got it emailed within the past 10 minutes about who qualifies for these $450 checks. You have to fall into one of these categories, foster parents, relative caregivers, non relative caregivers, guardianship, assistant program participants or families that receive the Florida temporary assistance for needy families program. That of course is state benefits there. If you fall into one of those categories, they say you don't need to apply or go through a process. You will be receiving those checks $450 her child over the next week. As a father of three young children, I know that getting ready for a new school year can be both exciting and stressful. Governor Ron DeSantis wrote in a letter to some Florida families to offset the cost of rising inflation. The state of Florida is giving you $450 for each child in your care, DeSantis continues. According to the governor's press secretary, the letters are real. We're putting a lot into that, um, making sure that we're, we're doing everything we can on behalf of Florida families. So $35 million within that budget will then go to support our foster and adoptive families, our single moms across the state. So they will get a one-time payment of $450. Florida's first lady, Casey DeSantis, announced the checks as part of her initiative, Hope Florida, a pathway to prosperity. The Florida Department of Children and Families says DeSantis approved more than $400 million in funding for DCF. I was very disgusted because uh, Governor DeSantis actually had the opportunity to address issues related to families and Floridians all across the state. And he waited until it's now campaign season to actually act on those. Representative Angie Nixon, who, like DeSantis, is running for a re-election, took to Twitter to voice her opinions about the checks. This is uh, rehashing what Donald Trump did a few years ago when he sent out those stimulus checks and he wanted to let everyone know that it was him, so to speak, that uh, sent out those checks. Nixon also says DeSantis vetoed bills that would have sent money to foster families. Now, according to the 2022 veto list, DeSantis vetoed a bill that would have provided money for high risk foster youth shelters and two bills that would have given money to family support services of North Florida. I'll continue to look into this. As I said, we just got that information from the state. I'll have more information, though, on all of that coming up tonight at six in the newsroom. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.